What's up, my name is Technobo here for Troubleshoot and on today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix crashing, random freezing and also launch issues with Watch Dogs Legion. Now, of course, this isn't exactly limited to that. This can help with other issues in the game as we're going to do a lot of generic type stuff that will work and help fix other issues. First of all, before we get into even troubleshooting the game, make sure that you reach the minimum requirements for the game. As games get more and more advanced, new ish technology is becoming more and more outdated. Make sure that you can actually run this without trying to troubleshoot it first. Assuming that you can run the game and you reach the minimum requirements, we can continue. So let's start with some simple fixes. Number one, we'll run the game in administrator mode. So open up Ubisoft Connect, locate the game and click on it or right click view game details. Then head across to properties and find the local file section. Click open folder. Now, of course, if you have the game on something other than Ubisoft, make sure to head across to wherever the game is installed using that launcher. It should look something similar to this. We'll open up the bin folder and we'll see all of these files here. What we're looking for is watchdogslegion.exe and watchdogslegionbe.exe. After you find both of these files, we'll right click on the first one and click properties. Then we'll head across to the compatibility tab and make sure to tick run as administrator, hit apply and then okay. Then we'll do the same for the BE version. Compatibility, run as admin, apply, okay. After doing this, we can try launch up the game and if you're having crashing issues on launch, you can see if it's fixed it. Otherwise, if you're getting random crash issues, then you may want to try a couple of other things. One of the other simple solutions that we'll do while we're here is head back a folder. So we get to this one over here, Watch Dogs Legion, and we'll open up the support folder. Inside of here, we have the DirectX installer as well as the VC redistributable installers. So we'll open up DirectX, scroll all the way down to D, and we'll open up dxsetup.exe. Simply right click and click Run as Administrator. After it opens up, simply follow through the install instructions to reinstall or repair DirectX. Then we'll head back a folder, open up VC Redist 2012 and open up this one over here the same way we did previously as admin. Then 2015 run as admin and 2017 run as admin. After we reinstall all of the redistributables, the game should be working properly. This will be especially useful if you're getting an MSVCP or VC runtime DLL error. After making sure that all of these redistributables are installed and possibly repairing them using the installers, the game should be working better if you're crashing on launch or receiving random VC runtime or MSVCP errors, something along those lines. So the next general fix we're going to do is make sure that the game is running on the correct graphics card. This will be especially important to you if you're running on a laptop with an integrated and dedicated graphics card or desktop with a CPU with a graphics chip built into it. Either way, hit start and type in graphic. Then open up graphic settings. Inside of here, make sure that hardware accelerated GPU scheduling is on as this will help performance. And then look down here to graphics performance preference. We'll choose desktop app from the drop down and click browse. Now all we have to do is navigate across to where the game is installed. For me, it's in E, Games, Ubisoft, Watch Dogs Legion, Bin, and we'll open up watchdogslegion.exe. When it pops up as such, click options and then choose your high performance graphics card. Hit save. And we're done here. Then if you're using an NVIDIA graphics card, right click your desktop, NVIDIA control panel and head across to the manage 3D settings section. Select the program settings tab at the top and simply locate Watch Dogs Legion on the list over here. If yours looks like mine and you don't see Watch Dogs Legion, click the add button over here and navigate to where the game is installed once again. That is of course, if you can't find it on the recently used section over here. For me, it's over here. I'll select it and click add selected. Upon doing this, we see a whole bunch of options. After doing that, we should see a block of text up here asking us what graphics card we'd like to run it on. Simply click the drop down and select the high performance processor option as that's your dedicated graphics card, the one that takes more power to run but gives you dramatically better performance. Now because I'm on a desktop, I don't have that option over here. While you're here, you may as well scroll through these settings and adjust them to your liking. These are my settings if you'd like to copy any of them. After doing that, simply click apply and you can close out of the NVIDIA control panel. From here, the absolute last simple thing that we can do is make sure that your graphics drivers are up to date and make sure your Windows is up to date as well. After doing both of those things, launch up the game and see if it works properly. Hopefully it does. If it doesn't, there's a couple of other fixes that we can try. The first one will launch the game in DirectX 11 mode instead of DirectX 12. This can cost some performance, but if you're having some compatibility issues, it should help fix them. Open up the Ubisoft Connect page once again, locate the game, click on it, head across to the properties section and scroll down to the bottom. We're looking for game launch arguments. 
click add command line arguments. And inside of here, we'll type in hyphen DX 11, no spaces. Click save. And the next time you launch up your game, it should open up in DirectX 11 mode. Yes, we can also choose this from the in-game options screen, but we can also set it here. For me, I know I don't need this, so I'll be removing it. For these next couple of steps, we'll be opening up the game. Simply click play. Now, obviously, if you're getting startup crashes, you'll have to skip forward in the video. Otherwise, if you're having random crashes, these next couple of steps should be able to help you. And now that the game's actually launched up, you can see I released this video in November, but regardless, it should work for you whenever. Head across to the options section over here, then the video section. All we're gonna look for here is the window mode, set it to full screen and the VSync option over here. Basically, what we're gonna do is toggle in and out of full screen to see if that stops crashes and VSync down here, toggled on or toggled off can also help. I can't exactly tell you which one is the best, but the best option for highest FPS and best input latency is full screen mode with VSync completely off. Putting VSync on can give you input latency and playing in anything but full screen can cause windows to limit the FPS your game is pushing out. But Changing this option here and the VSync option can be helpful with stopping crashes. Then while the game is open, we'll go ahead and open up Task Manager with Control Shift Escape. When it opens up, simply locate Watch Dogs Legion, right click and then click Go to Details. That'll take us to the Details tab and have Watch Dogs Legion selected. Simply right click on it and hover over Set Priority. We'll be setting it to High. Then clicking Change Priority, it tells the game to take as much CPU as it likes, leaving less for the rest of our computer when is necessary. This can help stop crashing. From this point, you can go ahead and continue playing the game, see if things work well. Otherwise, if you're still getting crashes, there's a couple of last things that we can do, but these are more last efforts. Closing out of the game, the easiest thing that we can do here to try and fix issues is finding the game once again, heading across to the properties section and making sure to verify files. This will be different depending on what platform you're using. Then the next thing we can do is try temporarily disabling your antivirus. By doing this, you'll make sure that it's not interfering with the game at all. If for some reason the game starts working well after disabling your antivirus, simply make sure to whitelist the game's folder or at least whitelist the game's applications, i.e. the Watchdogs and Watchdogs BE files we used earlier. And then finally, the last thing that we can attempt, holding start, pressing R, and then typing in msconfig. This opens up the Microsoft config window. Yes, this looks a little bit spooky, but what we're doing is heading across to the services tab, making sure that hide all Microsoft services is checked, and we'll go through this list over here looking for suspicious entries or entries that we can turn off. Basically, everything in this list over here are services that starts up when your computer starts up. The aim of this whole exercise is to restart the computer after this with as few of these checked as possible. That means that very few services will be opening, so the game should be left running without anything else interfering. For me at least, I was able to disable this PUBG option over here as I barely play the game, TeamViewer as I don't use it that much, JetBrains for programming, the GOG launcher services, and that was about it here. You can of course disable as many of these as you'd like, hit OK, and the next time your PC boots up, it should boot up a little bit faster and less should be running, interacting with the game in the background. That means that hopefully you'll get fewer crashes. So with all that aside, hopefully you found some use out of this video. My name's been Technobo here for Troubleshoot, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!